back. I'm over here working on top of a scaffold. Uh, these pieces are put from the outside, so I had to move the scaffold four times. I'm doing this job all by myself, uh, but it's coming out pretty good. I have to shim this uh, rebar a little bit up. Uh, that one's good. That one's pretty good, even though I could probably shim it a little bit. This one's perfect. Uh, all the infrastructure is in. As you can see, there's copper pipe over here coming up, coming up. Uh, this is, like I said, once I'm doing the work, I'll explain uh, that work that's being done, okay? But uh, yeah, the copper work was done already. Uh, this box has already cement. The pipe is covered up. The rest is like uh, stucco once it has the roof. But yeah, this is pretty much uh, done tomorrow. I say this mold is done. So hopefully by Saturday, Sunday, uh, I'm going to get my friend for this one. Because uh, I'm going to have to build like a small scaffold here. I have to mix over there. I have enough sand. Uh, tomorrow I pick up the rest of the cement. And uh, yeah, fill this up. Okay, so do this out. It's been raining, but I did get something done. I'm actually putting all the infrastructure that has to be put in. Okay. Uh, that's for the light switches. This is uh, for the run light. Because I'm going to be adding a run that way. Okay. Just thinking about emergencies and stuff like that. That uh, I might have to go out and uh, not want the chickens to free range while I'm not here. Uh, I'm going to make a run. A nice run. It's going to be about maybe 12, 15 feet uh, that way. And it's going to be, believe it or not, this tall. It's going to have, a, I would say, a good almost 11, 12 feet uh, high uh, run. Okay, so... Lewis, out. Okay, I'm back. I'm on top of a ladder. Okay. Uh, this mold is ready. All the infrastructure for the uh, boxes. There's going to be a light on that side uh, for security purposes. Uh, that's the pipe for the chicken guard door right there. This one's for the light switch. There's going to be a light there for the run. So yeah, everything's coming out pretty good. A lot of wind today. And the goats are in there. Uh, so Lewis out. Okay, check this out. This is completely full. My friend Sammy came to help me with this uh, so one last thing I gotta do this out okay it's seven something it's probably almost eight uh, I'm taking apart the mold but look how this looks now huge difference now you can see the entrance of the coop my design's gonna be like very different. Uh, I'm not talking about materials for obvious reasons, uh, but the way that I'm gonna design my coop, I'm planning on having two doors, okay? This one's gonna be the free range door. There's gonna be sliding doors here, okay? Sliding doors here. On one of the sliding doors, it's gonna have a separate door built in to the sliding door where the chickens could get out and get into the run the reason i'm gonna do this is because i want uh my run area uh 
to be uh, 24 7 access to the chickens okay um, if the chickens decide like let's say it's an emergency I'm not gonna free range the chickens or whatever they could always go out the also another thing that I'm gonna do is uh, the chicken run is is not gonna have uh, a roof it's not gonna have like a metal roof or anything like that it's gonna be an open design in other words that there's gonna be a covering either uh, chicken wire hardware cloth or the or a net um, but it's gonna be open the reason it's gonna be open is because of hurricane season okay uh, that way if there's no roof and there's a category 5 uh, the wind just goes through everything okay I'm not worried about uh, a metal roof uh, flying off or anything like that or uh, the roof being hit by wind and damaging the structure itself so I have this I'm designing for hurricane season okay for my climate okay um, another reason I also want it open is because here believe it or not grass grows faster than than what the animals can eat it we have chickens here and you're not gonna see no nasty patches nowhere okay this was me because I was putting dirt back underneath uh, here and it's gonna be spread out on top of that area there because uh, this is gonna be filled up with dirt okay so uh, yeah so I want a nice green area where the chickens will peck and let me put it this way most likely there's a good chance I'll even have to cut grass in here okay that's how fast grass grows here okay we have no winters so grass just keeps on growing okay it's just like ridiculous okay so Lewis out okay this gets taken apart tomorrow just because the cement is still a bit fresh so it's just a uh, slight safety uh, to keep it on at least one more day even though I'm almost sure I could take it apart but I'd rather give it one more day tomorrow early in the morning I take this apart and uh, it's pretty much done the beams everything's tied up I already got the square that's gonna be the exit right there let me just get down the stairs look how good that looks now you can see the where it, the clean out's gonna be I, uh, I'm gonna be able to stand up inside the coop uh, that's exactly what I wanted I wanted an elevated coop I wanted to be able to stand up inside not hunched over uh, I'm gonna add a run right here and the reason I'm gonna add the run right here is because I want uh, the chickens to have access to the run 24-7 uh, since everything's gonna be uh, uh, the runs gonna be completely sealed it's gonna be predator proof and uh, when I'm here and I want them to free range uh, that's what this uh, automatic door is gonna do okay so uh, yeah but you can see the windows now uh, and it's very tall I'm very strong so Lewis out okay uh, this is something that I sped up when I was doing the uh, temporary booter for the chickens for the temporary coop uh, I made the chicken ramp uh, for the coop Uh, I also made the uh, the roost for the coop I still have to make like the pieces that go uh, connected to the wall all that's gonna be welded I made uh, welded I made uh, one of these uh, welded hinges like I made for the compost bin and I added uh, some feet right there okay So, yeah, lose out.